Hello, everyone. Welcome to the continuation of my doctor series today. My name is Darren Jensen. I am the CEO and president of Life Vantage Corporation. I'm glad to have you with us today. Today, I have uh, somebody from our corporate staff. He is uh, one of our vice presidents of international, and he's over our European market. But in addition to being an, being an incredible business person, he has an MBA uh, and uh, from a very good school. But also, he uh, he has a master's in chemistry, and he also has a PhD in biochemistry. And with that, I would like to introduce our vice president of Europe, Dr. Peter Vertigam. Peter, welcome. hello, Darren. Hello. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you. We're glad right. to have you on, uh, on our broadcast today. It's exciting here in Denver for the Elite Academy. Fantastic. Yeah, I never did mention we are in Denver right now in the Mile High City. We're getting ready for our Elite Academy. And Peter travels around the world for us in addition to, to running our European market. And he does, does a lot of our product presentations. So, uh, Peter, let, let's get started. First, you know, uh, how did you get it? I mean, first you were in biz your business. But also, you are a you have a, a PhD in biochemistry. How did you get interested in biohacking? Well, Darren, you know, biohacking is is, is the, the the technology of the future. I mean, it, I got interested in nutrition and health a long time ago when I got my uh, when I did my PhD research. I was um, I was involved in vitamin A research, and everybody knows that vitamin A is a very important phytonutrient, plays an important role in our vision. And and after that, I got really interested in in various nutritional health improvement concepts. I worked in prostate cancer, I worked in menopausal complaints, and you know, we all know that nutrition is, is so essential for our health. And you know, I, I, but you know, when I did that four years of PhD and then a few postdocs after that, I, uh, I came into a business environment in nutritional companies and I always developed uh, dietary supplements, but most importantly, also did the clinical studies. I believe in clinical studies. We can't just, you know, sell products that are just based on on stories. We have to prove that um, what we say is actually uh, the truth, and that that we do only with um, with clinical studies. So I did many many of those. But you know, I believe in in biohacking because, as I said, it's the technology of the future. It's really something quite unique. And um, you know, when, when I talk about nutrition and health, I mean, I started by saying, you know, everybody knows this is the truth, right? You need good nutrition in order to stay healthy. Um, and you can use nutrition to improve your health over time. And uh, people have done that since centuries. I mean, it all started with, with just filling uh, simple gaps. Yeah? The, 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 like, say, two, three hundred years ago. I'm from Holland, by the way. We had a lot of, um, you know, um, people sailing across the world, and when they didn't have a certain nutrients like vitamin C, they developed uh, scurvy. We all know that, right? That was the first phase of nutrition, like filling a gap. And then it went on to um, thinking of prevention. Maybe we could take something extra when we're still healthy, like for osteoporosis, we could take extra calcium or vitamin D. And you know, that, that's the second phase of, of nutrition intervention. And and now we are via phase three, four. We are at phase five, I would say, and that is nutrigenomics. And and nutrigenomics is. Is fascinating. It's really fascinating. It is, it is improving what our body knows best, right? And that's that's essential. We have we have gone through our bodies have gone through evolution for millions of years, and I, I'm I'm I can say our body knows exactly what it needs to do. What uh, well, a question that I have. You mentioned that that there are at least five different phases or generations of of product. Um, starting clear back from those that were simply preventing a deficiency all the way up to now nutrigenomics and genomics and the ability to upregulate gene expression. And before we get too far, uh, far into that, let me just say that uh, from a corporate standpoint, we don't want to imply that anything that we're talking about or any of our products, uh, treat, cure, diagnose, uh, whatever that whole legal statement is, <laughs> anything dealing with disease. So. Um, we are a nutraceutical product. Uh, we're a nutrigenomics product, not a not a drug. So, but with that, you were saying that there are five generations. Mm -hmm. as, as a company, we leapfrogged over multiple generations of technology to come to nutrigenomics because really, I, I don't think we we really have any competition. 
Is that what attracted you to life? Coach? Absolutely, absolutely. Look, I've worked many years in in what I would call traditional nutritional intervention companies, which focus on basically giving nutrients more of good nutrients. That's what they do. But we do something fundamentally different. We we, as I finished just by saying that the last few minutes, our body knows exactly what it needs to do. Think about oxidative stress. Our body has developed mechanisms to counteract oxidative stress. Our body has done that because it knows through evolution that oxidative stress is very damaging to our health in the long term. And our body knows what to do, has developed these mechanisms, but sometimes due to our own faults, our own lifestyles, or due to our external factors, our body is not as efficient anymore to do that. And therein comes nutrigenomics. We can switch on those mechanisms that our body knows and has developed itself, and that's a key, has developed itself. We just help them be better at what they're supposed to do. And that is a complete new way of thinking. We, we don't introduce something funny to our body. We don't try to make our body do something that it's not used to or creating side effects by doing so. We're just helping to, to regulate, to optimize our body's own function. And, I think that that's we are the four technology development, and you know there will be companies that follow us at some point. Mm -hmm. But right now we're number one in this field, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna ex expand that knowledge throughout the world. And that's a very exciting opportunity for me. So that's well, why I'm here. What would you say, Peter, is from a technology standpoint? Um, because a lot of medical professionals may be watching uh, this broadcast and. What would you important piece of technology that we have as a company? Yeah, well, economics, but you can't see that by itself. You have mm -hmm. to see it in a, in a synergy. You know, interestingly, our products alone uh, are a blend of synergenic, synergistic ingredients, but products next to each other also form a synergy in itself. Um, and synergy is, is what you see typically in natural products. You don't see it in pharmaceutical products. You know why? Are just is one molecule. One molecule in a pill does one thing. It does so, but that's the only thing it does. Natural products are typically working together. They're a blend of phytonutrients. They all have the little different aspects of our body, but combined, they they have an explosive effect on the thing you want to want to want to create. And we have a lot of proof of that. I and mean, if you dive into our clinical research and our studies, you see that. The individual ingredients that we've selected in our products have their effect. We knew that based on you know third-party research, but then we put them together, and then comes in the synergy, and that you know, ma you see a massive du double, triple, quadruple effect occurring simply by you know working on different aspects of the body, improving what our body knows best to do, and then of course the different products. You know we have. I'm just talking now about synergy within Nerve 2, for example, but think about Nerve 2 and Nerve 1 at the same time. I mean, it is, it is a combination that, that, that is exactly focusing on the two major aspects uh, that we're facing with, uh, with the process of aging. You know, as I read books on biohacking, and for those of you that, that aren't familiar, the mission of LifeVantage is to biohack the aging code. And biohacking is the process of improvement. It's the process of manipulating a complex process. Mm -hmm. And definitely aging is a very complex process. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that from a technology standpoint, one of the most imp important pieces of technology is, is this synergy, if I understood you right, mm -hmm. between the ingredients and individual products, but also the synergy in between different products, for instance, Nerf one and Nerf two, okay. which you know, if you want to explain kind of in general what Nerf two is, and then Nerf, right. you know, I mean, what what do those two things address? Right. So, you know, I think the the biggest challenge we're facing in our health is is aging as a whole. It's not mm -hmm. a disease. Aging, right? Aging is is just normal. I mean, our body knows that we're aging. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing scary about it. But along with aging comes a lot of you know functionality loss in our body. Mm -hmm. And I would, there are many things that happen, but I would classify two most important things. One is slow accumulation of damage. And we're living, like, say, 20, 30, 40 years longer than 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. And as a result, so many different types of health concerns because they didn't exist because we never got to that age. 40, when we live 40 years old, we, we don't develop cardiovascular disease because, you know, you don't live long enough. Yeah. Now, and, you know, there are many health concerns that are 
attributable to this slow accumulation of damage. And, and that's free radicals. That's oxidative It's a normal process um, that happens all the time. We can't avoid it. In fact, we need it, right? Because oxygen, simple thing we breathe, is the biggest source of oxidative stress, right? And we need it. We can't live without it. So it's, it's part of our normal life. But we want to make sure that it, it does not damage all kinds of vital organs, DNA, um, cell organelles, so parts in the cell, like the mitochondria, for example, or big cells like our brain cells or, or, or accumulates um, plaques in our arteries, all kinds of different things come together at this oxidative stress. That's one thing, that's right? slow accumulation so that's of damage. What, that's what NERF2 that's two. What nerf two focuses on. One? And then we have NERF1, which is the basic loss of energy production. We all know that. And it's like, as we're getting older now, how old are you, Darren? Pretty young. <laughs> Pretty young. Okay. 47. 47. Well, I'm 46, so we we're both at the same age. And, you know, we don't have to wait till we're seven in energy, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, or, or before we have this damage in, in oxidative stress. Because as I get older, I, I yeah. notice a, a, exactly. a loss in energy. Exactly. And it's, it, it starts already in, in our 20s. In our 20s, we mm -hmm. start accumulating these things. You don't notice at that point, but it does start that point, particularly because of environmental impact and our own lifestyle choices. So those are the two three things. Nerve one focuses on, on uh, loss of energy production, mm -hmm. loss of efficient energy production, and nerve two helps us restore the balance that we're losing increasingly mm -hmm. when it comes to oxidative stress, the balance between protection and, and damage uh, infliction. So with, with mitochondria, I mean, a lot of us are, are not scientists like you. We don't have PhDs in biochemistry. Do you kind of want to give us the, the who, what, when, where, why, how of mitochondria just so that we start with a consistent basis of knowledge? Right. About okay. So um, a mitochondria is in every cell. Every mm -hmm. cell has mitochondria. Uh, cells, you know, throughout our body, we have very different kinds of cells. And mitochondria are our energy power production plants. That's what they do energy in every cell and some cells need a lot like our heart muscles cells right they, they need a lot of energy so they have a lot of mitochondria other cells like uh, your ear cells for example mm -hmm. they don't need this much energy production so they have less uh, has them. and uh, what they do is they, they you talked about uh, biohacking hacking understanding a complex system and knowing how to manipulate it into our favor uh, that's exactly what mitochondria is, a good example, because, you know, the mitochondria have a, a term which some biochemists may recognize called Krebs cycle. It's a complex biochemical process. It's like an engine that constantly turns, producing ATP molecules. And ATP molecules is our is our gas molecule, our energy molecule, mm -hmm. ATP, ad adenosine triphosphate. That's a complicated term, but that will be last one. So this cycle, you know, keeps on turning. And as we age, um, we, we kind of lose the number of mitochondria, they can destroy. So, so there's more than one per cell. Exactly, there are a, okay. a bunch. And particularly oxidative stress, actually between nerve one and nerve two, um, cause the reduction of, of mitochondrial number in our cells over time. It starts already at the 20s, as I said, so mm -hmm. don't wait until you're 70 before taking nerve one. Um, and second, the ones that are left also accumulate damage and are not as effect effective anymore in producing that energy. Mm -hmm. So. What you, what, you, what you want to do is more mitochondria throughout your life. You want to increase the number, and you want to make sure the process by which they produce energy stays efficient. And you know, if you think about the Krebs cycle, I mean, uh, at the symposium I'll talk, it's like a big biochemical process, a circle. There are all kinds of, you can look, see this as a factory, right? Mm -hmm. There are different workers, which we call the enzymes. They're doing all kinds of different steps, right? Mm -hmm. And these enzymes, we can influence the effectiveness by which these enzymes are, are made or by which the, the, the effectiveness by which these enzymes work, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's where we hack that code. We didn't understand that 20, 30 years ago. We didn't know about mitochondria. We discovered first there, then we discovered what they do, and now we discover how they do it and which components in that cycle are key to make the mitochondria produce the energy. And that's where nerve one plays a role because nerve one has five ingredients with the individual workers enzymes in that cycle and they they promote that 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 optimal function of those enzymes and the way they work and that makes sure that that cycle of energy production keeps on working so as i've read biohacking books i mean if if i were to condense down what they talk about part of it is look you've got to address oxidative stress 
Number two, you've got to address uh, mitochondria. The two big things that, that are being talked about. What, so why ProTandem NRF1? Why? Well, it, it's very simple. We want to make sure that the, 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 the reduction of, of mitochondria and efficiency, we want to counteract that because you know it has. There is a lot of studies out there that show that loss of mitochondrial function also has a direct link with degenerative diseases later in our life. So we want to keep our energy, you know, at high levels. We, first of all, because we like it, we like to have energy when we're like our age. Well, how would I feel if my my mitochondria is degradating? I mean, well, what are the symptoms? There's a part that you don't feel, which yeah. is the damage. To, okay. to, you don't necessarily feel damage to important parts of your body. Yeah. But second, you, you will notice it that your your short-term energy is not fulfilled, meaning that you know when, when you decide now, okay, now I'm gonna like go up a few flights of stairs, mm -hmm. right? I don't have the immediate availability of energy to do that, and halfway I'm kind of dead tired, right? If you have adequate mitochondrial production, adequate energy production, you're gonna have a store of energy which is immediately uh, usable at peak performance. That's one aspect, now, the short term. And yeah. now this is just a question that yeah. I'm having. Uh, I've been starting to exercise a lot lately, mm -hmm. and I noticed that, like you're giving the stair example, if I go out and I'm exer exercising quite a bit, yeah, I can get to those stairs and run up the stairs, and I. And it, it, does exercise also help with, yeah, with the number of mitochondria? Sure, exercise mm -hmm. too. If, if you, uh, every day or a couple of times a week, you're, you're going to stimulate your body to produce more of that uh, energy production plants, mm -hmm. provided it can do so, right? Okay. And that's what Nerve One also has an important role. It, it unlo unlocks our body's ability to produce those mitochondria to make them more efficient. You know? So unlocks, does it help to optimize in yeah, any way? Okay. Yeah. Two things, yeah. So it, it makes, we have, we have proof uh, with, our, with our research that our ingredients in Nerve One uh, stimulate the biogenesis, so that the, the, the mm -hmm. creation of mitochondria, and we have proof that parts of that prep cycle are working more efficiently. That is, that's not in vivo proof; that's in vitro proof. That's how you start doing this, right? You yeah. you, you isolate those those mechanisms in, in in the lab, and then you can see how those ingredients actually promote that functioning. So the short term energy is going to go up, mm -hmm. and the long term, right? You have a lot more. I'm not sure if you would run, but if you would run, you can you have a longer time until you are completely. It's it, it's simple. That's like a battery. It's like a battery. You have your your energy ready to be used when you need it. So that's how you do that. Well, I know with me, I, I I just started getting back into running, and really, you know, as I go through cycles, sometimes I haven't taken my Nerf One a lot, but I I'm I'm I, I'm absolutely dedicated to taking both Nerf One and Nerf Two. And just my my own personal experience, I know that yeah, I've been running for maybe uh, you know a month and a half, two months, and yesterday I just went and ran uh, twelve kilometers. So, right, hey. <laughs> big shock. But big shock. Uh, I, I try to always run at least five or ten k. But yeah, up to twelve. Uh -huh. But but I, at least in my own personal life, I'm feeling I, I do feel more yeah. energetic. Yeah. You know for sure. And I like what you just said. You said you usually run five or ten, yeah. and now you you went for twelve. More and more like five. Okay. But but now usually I'm like five, uh, and now, five, now, now it's twelve. 10, but that's 10, an exact um, yeah. indication that you have more residual energy stored in your body. Because yeah. when you reach that five k point, uh, you're not drained yet. You, you might as well continue. Oh, I feel good running. all day exactly. too. Yeah. Exactly. So that is that is a key indicator that nerve one is working for you, and that you have more usable energy when you need it. So. How does NERF1 or NRF1, ProTandem NRF1, work with uh, ProTandem NRF2? How, how right. do those two work? Well, um, it's interesting that mitochondria are the biggest producers of oxidative stress mm. as a result of the good thing they're doing. You know, oxygen is used in the mitochondria to produce energy. You produce more energy, which is a good thing. You can regenerate your cells better. You can regenerate your body better. Um, you also produce, therefore, more free radicals, right? So Nerve 1 is a very fantastic add-on to Nerve uh, Nerve 2 is a fantastic add-on to Nerve 1 because, you know, it takes away that damaging component of having more energy available. So that combination is, in my view, essential, essential uh, when you look at aging.
So you're saying it almost has to counteract the benefit of the, uh, of the other so because, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hadn't thought of that way. As you yeah. get in better health, you are probably producing more oxidative stress. Yeah, exactly. And we, yeah. we talked about synergy, and that is, you know, if you look at the, the market out there for dietary supplements, there are more products that have synergy. But it's usually one level of synergy. It's like within one formula that focuses on one condition or one health, health concern, you have synergistic components. That's mm -hmm. not new in itself. We have a, a deeper level. We have a two that within our products. Mm -hmm. But then we have the second level where you say nerve one, uh, nerve two, and some of our other products work together and enhance each other's function as well. So it's like it's like a two layer um, uh, going on, and I think that's really fantastic and unique. And, and part of this reason was was the reasoning from a marketing again bundling those two products mm -hmm. together, and that's why we, we went to the steps of actually connecting them with the packaging because we knew of the synergy between the two products, and that it was necessary to well, we thought it was necessary to take them at the same time, as well as. Uh, we even expanded out, and in additional doctor series that we have, we'll talk about how you know the the gut health, digestion also plays a huge role in you know our immune system and everything. Yeah. You know, all of the products are you know we're trying to design them to work together synergistically, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that uh, a scientist like yourself uh, sees that um, that accomplishment that we've been doing. So there, you know, we talk about complex systems. If you only think of the energy production, it's already complex in itself. Mm -hmm. But then you have the component of complex systems working with another complex system, like the gut health mm -hmm. and immune uh, immune stimulation. Right? Mm -hmm. Those are two complex systems in itself, and together they work on a different layer of complex complexity. Mm -hmm. So I applaud Life Advantage for making a product for this and a product for that. But really look at the complete synergistic effect that we want to accomplish. Biohacking the aging code is is not is not one thing. It's a comp combination of things. And if you just work on one aspect of it, you kind of lose sight for the other one. And and you want to do it at the same time because you can increase of your benefits uh, for your aging process. Well, very good. Well, Peter, if uh, our time's running running short, if you had to give to summarize everything, why you know why do we need these products and uh, and then any other pieces of wisdom that you think uh, our, um, our, our Life Vantage team members would enjoy? Well, Darren, thank you for that question because, you know, it's um, – when, when I talk about Life Vantage and its products to, to – you know, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll say it like this. I say, hey, guys, you know, we can talk about diseases. We can talk about health. But what are we facing really? And that is just, you know, a combination of things happening in our body. And that's because of aging. Nothing scary, just a normal process. Our body knows it. Our body knows how to deal with it. We just want to make, you know, we want to, we want to you know, stack a deck of cards. We want to make sure that we, um, we are knowing what our body is doing when it ages, and we want to prevent the bad things and upregulate, so stimulate the good things, like more energy production, but reduce oxidative stress. So, you know, if you have to zoom in, I, I would zoom in on these two things. Did you know that because of living longer, you accumulate a lot of damages in your body, and you can prove it with all kinds of degenerative health concerns we're facing today, and you have a reduction in energy production, the two major things that we're facing. And we have two products that you know work with your body, your body's own mechanisms, stimulate what needs to be stimulated, slow down what needs to be slowed down, and as a result, have a, have a, a very synergistic effect. And you know, we have already studies that you know we can extend life, we know that. In male, uh, in male uh, test animals, I guess, male mice by 7%. I, that's, that's fantastic. That's yeah. amazing. And you know also that we share about 99% of the DNA with the male mice, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I didn't know that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, now you know. <laughs> well, but that's um, – so we, we, are, we are really tackling that aging process. And, and, you know, our science and our research that we're doing – Make us understand step by step what is important for our body as we age. And not only that, but we really work together with our body. We don't work against it or we don't like to fix something that's wrong. No, we just stimulate what our body knows best. And that is, that is really powerful from a nutritional point of view. Well, thank you, Peter. And uh, thank you for uh, talking to us about really the synergistic effect of 
of NERF2 along with NRF1 and the importance of, of mitochondrial health. It's been, uh, it's been very interesting. Thank you. Thank you Glad very much, you Dan. And thank all of you for today. We'll see you next week. I'm not sure which doctor we have scheduled, but uh, we will do this series presentation every week. So I look forward to the next one. Till then, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.